Hey, what's up, guys? It's a Paul Uchiha here, back with a new series. It's a story by Yoji Mabra, and um, the name of this series, as you have guessed from the title, is "What If Naruto Was Sent Back Into the Past?" And yeah, it's a female Madara ship, Yandere Madara, and yeah. If you haven't, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, guys, I have already uploaded the next part of. What if Naruto was turned into a girl? If you haven't checked that out, check that out as well. And without further ado, let's begin our story. There had been to be a very good reason why he was currently plummeting towards the ground, or at least there better be. But for the life of him, he couldn't place. On moment, he was just walking along with Sakura, and then bam, free fall. Maybe he said something stupid, and Sakura hit him really far. If so, then she must have gotten a new record, as this was the most airtime he'd gotten, and he was still falling. But that couldn't be it. His face didn't hurt, and Sakura hadn't hit him in like a month. Ino said it was proof that he could learn. A forest cut by rivers and punctured by rocks spread out before him, touching every horizon. If Sakura had suddenly sent him painlessly flying into the air. He would have seen Konoha somewhere nearby, even if it was called the village hidden in the leaves. This was just stupid. Many, maybe this was an illusion or something. He found the answer when he came in contact with a branch that smacked him in the face and gave him a mouthful of follicle. It hurt. That meant that he actually was falling. Oh shit! He pulled his head in, bouncing off branches. That snapped and crashed through the forest canopy. The world went black a few times on the way down. Water crashed around him, hurting just as much the branches on the way down. He was submerged in a hot beat, probably with a broken arm and drips and a face. Not nothing he could, nothing he couldn't walk away from. Surely the landing always sucked, but it was rarely. Worse than the takeoff, except maybe this time. He bounced off the rocky bottom of whatever body of water he had been fortunate enough to land in. Well, there went his foot. That was probably broken too. Still, here to live, he still have to become Hokage after all. With his good foot on the ground, he aimed upwards and towards the surface, where the sun shined through the clear water. He could see the slope of the rock-covered shore and feel the flow of the water. Looked like a river. The water broke around him as he bobbed up and down in the water. No real need to use his chakra yet. Besides, he was already wet. He couldn't get wetter. A foot, not his. It was far too slender and girly. Stepped in front of his face, its counterpart resting just behind it. He followed them up, which was probably a mistake given how he tended to have horrendous luck. A woman, a naked one, save for a single piece of cloth that covered some of her, stood in front of him. The first thing he noticed beside her long legs, nice hips, slender legs, modest bust, long black hair was the vicious skull on her otherwise beautiful face. That and the sword she was currently pointing at him. Do you have a death wish? she asked. Her eyes dark like two lumps of coal boring down into his very soul to see what kind of person he was and she was very not impressed. The only reason why you're not dead is that I will know who would dare to attack me. Now speak warm. The edge of the sword moved towards his neck. Great, he just had to appear in front of some crazy chick with a sword. Why couldn't it be some nice girl with a bowl of ramen or just nobody? Nobody would have been great. Um, would you like to get dressed or something? Why? She sneered, tilting the sword up against his neck. It was sharp, really sharp, so that you can strike while I'm having to have my turn my back on you. I will fight and defeat you, naked if I must. No, it's just that I have a hard wait. That's probably not the right word. It's difficult to talk to a beautiful girl when she's naked. Mostly because he didn't want to make her even more mad by looking at places he wasn't supposed to, which he was doing a lot of. Be beautiful. She gasped, eyes widened, and frowned, replacing her skull 
for just a moment. Do not think flattery will get you out of this. Now speak, who are you? Some send you assassin? I don't think Hashirama would stoop so low. His eyes drifted towards her waist. There was a lot of definition there. She was definitely more than just bark. The sword at his throat was telling him that her bite might actually kill him. Keep your eyes on mine. Yes, ma'am. He squeaked, trying to stay focused on her eyes. It was kind of easy because she was who would dry up with it again. Eyes on the eyes. Easy on the eyes. I'm trying to say something, but you're just too damn intimidating. I'm Naruto Uzumaki, and I wasn't trying to do anything. I don't even know. Where am I? And Uzumaki, she glared at him, sliding the swords upward towards his chin. So you're aligned with the Senju then? What? No, I'm not. I swear, I don't even know what a Senju is. It did sound familiar. Look, I'm a ninja from Konoha, see? He tapped at his forehead protector, wincing as he heard his arm pop at the motion. That might take a bit longer to heal now. Can we please talk about this with you being dressed, a sword not pointing at my neck, and a fish not eating on my toes? She snorted. I know not of this Konha you speak of, and that the Uzumakis are the allies of my enemy. I'm not your enemy, I swear. I'm just a ninja. He deal with the whole not knowing that what Konoha was later. Look, there has to be some way for me to prove this all. Just a misunderstanding. She lowered the sword just a uh, hair so that the blonde no longer touched his skin. Stand slowly. He did so, her blade following him on the way up. Yep, his foot was probably broken. His arm definitely was. Damn it, and he just had Sakura fix it recently. Hey, wait a second. His arm. It didn't feel like it normally did. His old arm was back. Okay, this was weird. Almost as weird as getting interrogated by a hot naked lady with a sword. You sure you don't want to get dressed first? Do not speak unless to answer my questions. She walked around him. The water didn't even respond to her footsteps. While he made ripples just by standing there. It was one thing to see her standing still but in motion her beauty was all the more stunning. Every moment was measured, careful, focused, like a predator stalking its prey. You favored your left leg, boy. Holy crap, she was one of those people that could tell his whole life story just by the way he blew his nose. He hated those people mostly because it always feel like they knew what he was going to say next, which was so unfair because he didn't even know what he was going to say next. Hopefully she didn't notice that he thought she had a nice ass. When she passed in front of him, their eyes met. She knew. Well, I kind of fell from really high up. I think my foot or my leg is broken. He shrugged. There were really no point in lying. And if he could talk his way out of a fight, that was good. Just meant that he was going to be an awesome Hokage. She looked up at him with careful eyes. Any other injuries? Broken ribs probably. And probably a broken arm. I hit my head too. So I might be stupider than usual. He smiled at the joke. She did not. I see. Your entrance and injuries did line up with your story. You appear to be resilient. And you're not young. Either you're lucky or a capable ninja. Which is it? Both I guess. Seriously, there was a ninja that didn't know who he was. Wait, was she a ninja? Where was he even? Maybe Sakura hit him hard enough to send him flying long enough to recover and then end up far enough that people didn't know who he was. That seemed likely. Very well, Naruto. I will take you back to my village. There you will pledge your allegiance to the Uchiha clan and fight for us. Wait, you return to look at her and got a sword pointed right at his neck. This time he was a lot more careful about it. Other Uchiha? That weren't part of Konoha? How? He couldn't believe it. Sasuke was going to lose his mind. Uchiha? There are other Uchihas? Do you know Sasuke? Or Konoha? You know of this Uchiha, but you do not know of the Senju or Uzumaki. How and why? Her face remained cool and that smile vanished replaced by that tireless call 
that he had seen Sasuke wear before. Her blackened eyes, now the familiar red of the sharing gun. Well, she wasn't lying about being an Uchiha. I am from Konoha. My friend Sasuke is an Uchiha there, but his whole clan got killed by his brother years ago. Same with the Uzumaki, they got wiped out during the second ninja war. Or maybe the third. Iruka history lessons were still kind of out there. You're either a very good liar or you are telling the truth. She didn't back down. There has been no second ninja war, let alone a first one. The Uzumaki hide on their island and I am reluctant to say a strong clan. I get the feeling I'd be simpler just to kill you. Then why don't you? Not that she could, well probably, but he wouldn't make things easy for her. He could already feel Kurama working at his important li limbs and bits. She smiled again, her sharing and deactivating, dropping the sword and walking towards the shore. I find you attractive enough not to kill. Nothing more, nothing less. But you will still come back to my village. There you will tell me more about this place known as Konoha. And I will debate what exactly to do with you then. Wait, you think I'm cute? That was new. Well, kind of. Sure, there were a lot of girls back in Konoha now that liked him. But there was something about this woman. Maybe he just had a thing for women that terrified him. Huh. Once she reached the shore, she began to dress, giving him more than a little peek of her. But he kept getting drawn to that known-it-all smile she kept flashing at him. If that how you wish to put it, but be careful. If you annoy me too much, it won't matter how she pursed her lips as thought to taste the word, cute you are. Her clothing was dark and simple save for the Uchiha symbol painted onto her back of the shirt. Somehow the few pieces of cloth managed to hide all but the most telling traces that she was a woman. And she almost looked familiar, but that might just be that whole Uchiha thing she had. Can I catch your name? He half limped to the shore, testing his foot with every every other step. Yep, that was going to suck for a while. Broken bones sucked more than getting stabbed. It has been a while since one has asked for my name. She fanned her long waist length, hair free from her top, allowing it to spread out like her raven tail feathers. Very well, Naruto Uzumaki. My name is Madara Uchiha, head of the Uchiha clan. Wait, you're a girl? Yes. That was what his brain decided was the most important thing to say at that point. She looked at him. This woman claiming to be Matra Uchiha that thought he was cute looked at him with an amused look and a very smile on her face. I certainly hope so. You've been straining at my ass for the past five minutes now, haven't you? So why exactly were you naked in the river? I'm an exhibitionist and batting naked excites me. That stopped him in his tracks Well, they were mostly her tracks in that he was following her. His brain trying to override his built-in obliviousness. It didn't help that when she said that, she turned back to give him a smile so very he developed childhood trauma from it. The smile was also hot, trauma and a fetish all in one sexy bag. That sounded completely healthy. The forest that he found himself in was pretty much exactly like any other forest he'd ever been in. Trees everywhere, some even grew from the corpse of dead bodies. They weren't as big as the trees that were around Konoha, but they were close and this was all just a distraction to keep his mind off of the fact that Mother Uchiha was a girl. Not just any girl, a hot one at that, a hot girl that found him cute and wasn't trying to murder him. Nor did he seem crazy. Sorry, she seemed crazy. Well, she did, but not the whole taking over the world crazy that he remembered. Maybe she was just his mother or something, maybe his daughter. So you're sure your mother? Asking that question again will only accomplish in annoying me. Her voice crept at edge sharper than the sword at her tip. And I tend to remove things that annoy me. But I'm cute enough to not be removed, right? He didn't want to fight Madara again. That wasn't fun. 
so things might go a bit different without the whole sage steroid thing going on she spun on him the sword drawn so that the flat of the blade rested against his chest she really liked to get up close and personal she smelled like the river her face hovered inches away from his closely enough that she could bite him with the slightest movements cute yes but you can live without your tongue her smirk appeared once again and the sword sheathed itself be glad that i have use for you and your tongue right i need to tell you about konoha he gave a nervous laugh as she continued to walk forward another chuckle that sent a ripple down his spines like it was a tranquil mount oh yes that as well wait what he scrambled forward nearly losing his footing on a rude silk with moss what else can i do with my tongue she laughed her hips swaying just that extra bit more as she rounded a corner along the path you'll have to find out tonight if you're lucky he spent the next five minutes failing to figure out what she meant much to her amusement the forest came to an abrupt end and a village uh, sprouted up out of the earth only a band of rocky and charred earth separated the two worlds this was the uchiha village the clan symbol had been chased after for much of his childhood was stretched between two logs stuck into the earth marking the entrance of the village behind it towered a wall made out of vertical logs that spanned as much of the village as they could it was impressive for a single clan but still smaller than he expected and less dark and broody less fire too welcome to my village naruto Madara held her arms out for a moment, head held back in pride. It's not as big as some of the larger clans like here, Uzumaki or the Senju, but one of our ninja is worth five of theirs. Because the Sharingan was cheating, but maybe there was a ramen stand or some place to eat in there. He was kind of hungry and he didn't have to think so much when he was sitting. His brain was still trying to wrap around the fact that Mother Uchiha was a girl with a really 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 nice ass and great legs it uh looks great you have only seen the entrance and that great if this impresses you then perhaps your konoha isn't worth hearing about her gaze snapped to his just long enough to flash a smile at him now stay close and do try to ignore the looks you get from a clansman are outside her raid or something he asked following after her eyes focused on the sway of her hips and the way her robes kind of hugged her butt it was odd he didn't remember being so into parts before maybe hers was the good kind or something no really why was the hottest girl he's ever seen mother of Chiha of all the people who was supposed to be a man if not in his time so not exactly, but people won't ask questions if you're near me. Also, stop staring at my ass, will you? How the hell did she know? She wasn't even looking at him. What happened to being an exhibitionist? You truly have a death wish, don't you? No, I'm just stupid and my mouth moves on its own. Your honesty is admirable, but your idiocy is not so much. Now, silence your tongue. The inside of the village was somehow less impressive. Most of it looked like those super old buildings in Konoha that didn't get rebuilt. Kind of like the Yuga place or Shikamaru's home. Kind of like a shrine or temple with paper walls and tatami mats. It was all kind of, what was the word again? Traditional, yes. Most of the people, well, they looked like they were related to Sasuke and not just look wise. They all had that same grumpy scowl on their face. Sasuke was probably wearing right now. Well, maybe not right now. He was still in the future. How did he even end up here? And why was Madara a girl? While dark hair like Madara's was the norm, there were a few more vibrant color purples, blues and even a few deep reds. They were all dressed in simple robes, with the clan symbol on the back. Some even wore that cool looking armor that Madara and the first Hokage wore. A tall, angry looking man and angry even by Uchiha standards walk up to them with a sword on his hips and long black skull and those hateful eyes he looked more like Madara than Madara did Lady Madara his voice held back storm sitting on the horizon ready to swallow up any who would challenge it 
His bow was curt, starting the lines of mockery. It is good to see you are well. The Uchiha's flickered to him. The he eyed him up and down and grunted, and it appears as though you brought a stray dog home. With a hand on, his, on her hips, mother turned back to face him. She rolled her eyes and smiled. Naruto, this is Sanosuke. He's a strong shinobi, but a big-headed bastard that thinks that he should lead our clan because there's no way that a woman could do such a job. Sanosuke snorted, shrugged his arms, his frown only grown. You only lead because because you can't best me. Mother interrupted, turning to face Sonosuke. And until you do, I will continue to deny you. A growl escaped him and his lips curled into a snarl as he directed his anger towards Sato. And what business could our clan have with a weakling such as you? Weakling? Hey, I'm not. The back of her hand against his chest silenced him. He has information that could benefit our clan far more than you ever could. No, hold your tongue before I put you back in your place. She turned away from him, eyes scanning the crowd. Do you all have the luxury to stand to and gawk at me? Only Sanosuke remained standing. Mother sighed. What else, Sanosuke? We need to talk about your agreement to meet with Senju. It's a trap. The man continued to glare at him. This guy was worse than Sasuke ever was. And if it is not, then... They are fools and we should crush them. Hashirama may be a peaceful fool, but he is an honest one. Besides, I want to know what the peaceful fool has to say. You are all welcome to remain here and watch over the corpse. It would be no problem in finding another escort. She paused her face void of all emotion. She looked tired and finally managed a smile. Of your caliber, I am certain, even Naruto here could feel that role despite the fact that he is no Uchiha. She let each word drip like a venomous honey. With a half, Sanosuke left them, stomping off towards further into the village. So, uh, you didn't mean mention you were the leader of the clan, right? Naruto said trying to change the subject. He didn't exactly do well in situations that were about to break into a fight. He was great at the Every, he, has, he was great at making everyone happy or everybody fighting atmospheres. Her smile came back. Oh, did I not say that this was my village? She leaned in closer, one hand on her hip, the other resting on her sword. She was way too fond of that thing. Or did you just assume that I could not be the leader because I'm a female? No, he leaned back, hands up, a meager defense. Did she not know what personal space meant? What I meant is that we had a female Hokage before. She was super strong. And I know a lot of other strong girls like Sakura and um, oh, the Mizukaki is also a girl. It sounds as though you're asking me the questions. She spun on her heel, hair nearly smacking him in the face. Hokage, Mizukage, these are leadership titles. Yeah. Yep. Granny was super strong, and I heard that if I didn't want to become the next Hokage, then Sakura would probably be asked. It kind of hurt. It kind of hurt that it came from Shikamaru saying that Sakura would make a better Hokage than him, but he had more than a few points. It normally goes to the strongest ninja. She laughed a cruel mocking sound that was still filled with joy. The more I hear about this Konoha of yours, the more I am beginning to like it. Now come, my home is not far. I am hungry. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this part of guys. I hope you like this one. And if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel. And yeah guys. This is Apollo Uchiha. And I'm signing out. Peace.